Hello everybody, this is Quinny. Um, today I'm going to give you the presentation for homework 6 um, to produce summary table for the um, hematology data, um, the hematology laboratory data. Okay, so this data we can see we have um, lab date for um, each record and each record will have the visit number and the 11 test and its subject ID. And we uh, we should notice that um, all the summary table we need to produce is still based on the safety population. So we still need to import the demographic table and use that to select the safety population. And here's the uh, three tables we should produce. Um, the first one here we can see as a summary of the test result. Um, so it's um, like uh, based on each visit um, and what's, what is basic statistic is the N, mean, medium, minimum, maximum, and the standard deviation. And we can see that here, here there, there is a uh, treatment groups here, so we're supposed to produce three tables like this. Each one represents diff, um, like each treatment groups, and last one the total. Second table is very just the same structure as the first one. The only difference is the variable we are um, summarized is a change from baseline. Okay, so. We can see this part is just the same as the mm, first table, the baseline statistics for each test. And others are not the record for each visit X. It should be the change from each visit X to the baseline. In this one, we also should produce three subtables for um, different treatment groups. So. In total, for this kind of table, we need to produce six of them, like um, three for each, like the record and the change of the record. The last table here um, we should produce is, is a shift table. So we will have, um, you can see the columns is a level for the baseline. We have low, normal, high, for the baseline, we also have low, normal, high for the for each visit X, and it will be the rows. So it's kind of a cross table. It's a baseline against the visit X, and it also divided by treatment one and treatment two. I we can I can you can see the um, here is a table for lab test S X. So we supposed to produce eleven tables for each text X. And um, to be noted that how should we assign the low, normal, high values for the data? Um, it actually um, it's separated by um, the group mean plus and minus three times of a certain deviation. So that will create, create an interval. Uh, when you are falling to that interval, you will be normal data. When you are less than the minimum, the, the minimum of the interval, it should be um, categorized as low levels. And um, when you are bigger than the maximum um, side of the interval, it should be um, assigned to high levels. So let's take a look at the code. Okay, um, the code is very straightforward. We import the data, we create format for um, the basic statistics for each visit and the baseline, and also for three different levels. Um, we merge with the um, demographic table and only choose safety equal one to um, choose a safety population. And to be noticed that um, since we have 11 tests, 
and I don't want to mention each test name in the following code. So I just assign um, the name into macro variables. The vList is a macro variable, like store all the test name and separate by blank, separate by um, a single space. And visit one, visit uh, vList two is um, like store all the test name and separate by a different kind of um, so delimiters. So that'll be helpful when I using SQL because the variable will separate by the comma. And um, I also I also store it into like um, eleven separate macro variables. And um, just as a demographic table, I first change the hematology data from white form to long form. So um, all the test record will be listed into one single column name as record and all the test name will um, store into a single column called test. And uh, there's another thing um, I should uh, say something about is how do we check the violations? Because we know that the lab, the lab data sometimes will be um, some wrongly recorded, um, no matter it's because of typo or like um, fat finger wrongs, arrows. Um, so we are supposed to examine how, it, how each test um, the, the data is um, distributed in the very beginning. So I draw a 11 box plot here for each test. We can see that um, there's a three tests are showed a little ab abnormal, because um, like HCT, the mean is average. The mean is 40. The minimum is like uh, nearly 30, but the maximum value is is reached to 355. There's that is really abnormal. Okay, and the MCV is is the same like um, logic, because it's minimum value is really small is, is like se, um, six or seven times smaller than the other um, values and the PLAT test is also has a very uh, big range here so I um, print out um, each five the lowest and highest extreme observation for the three tests and we can see there's only one value is equal 355. So this one, um, I will definitely exclude, exclude it, this one uh, in, for the further analyst. Because if you include this one, it will highly affect your um, average and the standard deviation. And I will also exclude the 13.4 value for the MCV test because this one is like, um, abnorm showed abnormal low compared to other values for the MCV. However, uh, the PLAT shows that um, all the lowest and highest um, values, although it's like has a big range, but they are kind of um, continuously. You don't have like one or two um, abnormal data. So I will just remain. I will. I. I won't do anything to. Um, PLAT. And I also check the violation for the lab date um, and, and, and the lab date whether it's um, consistent with the visit number. So whether um, uh, when the visit, vi the visit number is increased, whether the lab date is also increased. If it's not, it's going to be um, wrongly recorded data. So we will report it to the statistician or and see their explanations okay after I check like do the routine check I also create a new um, data sets called my hammer change so that will be um, 
the data sets that um, in, uh, that contain new variable which record uh, which summarize the change from each visit to the baseline so till this step we created two um, derived we derived two data sets called my hammer and my hammer change and we're supposed to produce um, each uh, I mean um, sub data sets for each derived data we created to represent the different treatment group so I will use TD1, TD2 and TD3 as um, treatment group 1, 2 and total for the um, my HEMA data and change TD1, change TD2 and change TD3 for uh, my HEMA change data based on each different groups and then I write a big uh, macros to compute to calculate all the basic statistics for this um, for table 1 and table 2 and after I um, run these macros it will give me six tables in total before that um, you can see here I actually created two me data sets because I wanted to include every mm, test and every visit showed in the original data because sometimes um, a certain test won't have the record for a certain visit but we still want that showed in the final table um, and the value and I will put the NA values there so I created Dumi variable uh, the Dumi data sets let's see where, where, where it is mm. okay it's like uh, we have all the base uh, all the mm, statistics all the visit here and we have all the 11 tests here so I will merge this back uh, with the data set I get from from um, I computed and then that will give me a very complete complete um, tables So this will be the table one and table two, and for table three, the shift table. As the same, we we need to create um, levels for it. So before that, I um, also derive the data set first, and as we can notice here, the table is actually um, made up by two parts treatment group 1 and treatment group 2 so for each test I will produce two tables and then merge and then um, merge them back at the last step so in total I'm going to produce 22 tables 22 data sets and two um, e and um, each ta uh, each test will have two separate tables um, this procedure is very similar to the shift table in homework 5 so I won't give too many comments on the code for this one I also create dummy, dummy, var uh, dummy data sets I, oh, it's not this one do me data sets and for um, each phase eight and for each levels baseline levels okay and these two macro like called macro functions will give us actually 22 data sets and then I merge each two of them um, using these macro functions okay. so after I run everything um, of this code I will get all the derived data I need like for um, the record summaries uh, of the hematology data we have treatment group 1, 2 and total and for the change we have um, change 1, 2 and total and we also have 11 test for the shift 
table. Just open one for an for an um, example. Like this is a table for MCV, and we can see we have all the um, levels listed as as columns as the mm, baseline levels. This is a treatment group one, and this is a treatment group two, and also we have um, each visit levels. So it made up actually made up a cross table. And it's very, um, it's kind of uh, consistent with the change table we made. We can see for the treatment group two, actually the MC, MCV is here. We lack information on VZ7, 8, 9, and 10. So we can compare this table. Here we can see that yeah, we don't have the information for 7, 8, 9, 10 visit for um, MCV here. Actually for each test we don't have the record. So let's take a little uh, let's take a look at the result I produce. Okay. Table one it contain three tables treatment one treatment two In total, and the summary of change of la of the library data is just uh, the same structure. So, um, and the shift table will look like this. Uh, one thing to be mentioned is, um, as we see the table shell, um, it says the normal range should be the the mean value um, within three times of standard deviation. But when I produce that table, I find out like everyone, every record is falling into the normal um, category. So it will be like um, uh, 9 here and 100% here. So that will, um, so I changed, I, I modified a little of this, of this, stan of the standard. Like I put 1.5 standard deviation here, so that will make our data um, like diverse a little. So some data will fall into the high um, category, some will fall into the low category. So that's what I modified. Okay. Mm, okay, that's my work for homework six, and thank you for the listening.